What's poppin' Creation Nation? It's your girl LYC and I'm back at it with another video. Anyways, I just wanted to come to you guys and teach you all how I built my morning routine, okay? Um, step number one was I figured out who I want to be and I thought of or you can write down. I prefer writing everything down, but this particular thing, I didn't actually write down. If need be, you should write it down. Like, write down a list of everybody, or write down a list of who you want to be, basically, or the types of people you strive to be like. So, I personally strive to be a very hygienic person, you know? Like, overly hygienic person. Like, like I'm one of those people. One of those people who's, like, so clean, you're kind of like, what? was that necessary i want to be like those people like i don't i don't want to be that person that just cleans like to the basics like i want i want everything to be spotless clean i don't know i, I don't know like everything so what would be the habits of an overly hygienic person that's number one um and then i am really deep into spirituality and i want to i want to be um a person that can read tarot cards so what are some daily habits of a tarot reader um i want to be a phenomenal dog owner not just a mediocre one so what are some traits of the best dog owners you know um i want to be I want to be a financially free individual. So how would living in a financially free lifestyle look? Then pick some traits of those. You know, you pick traits of people you aspire to be like. And that's step number one. Step number two is to build a routine, but also a schedule. They got to they gotta combine. So like... The best way to get in the habit of doing a routine is to come up with a schedule. What time do you need to wake up to demonstrate the traits of the person you want to be like? Um, what time should you be actually getting out of bed and getting your day started as, you know, the person that you aspire to be like? Um, and what are, you know, what are the things that need to get done in order for me to say that I am the person that I'm aspiring to be like. So that was step two. Sorry, step one, I figured out who I aspired to be like. Step two, I got a schedule together and figured out what times these people would be doing these things and what time I should be doing them. And then step three for me was I put, um, I wrote down on a bunch of sticky notes the first five things I need to do every day. Um, m minus uh, a couple of smaller details. Because, uh, like, taking my dog out, that's more mandatory. That's, like, being a good pet owner. And I don't... I, I didn't need a reminder for that, basically, is what I'm saying. I didn't need to be reminded that I need to take my dog out. But... I do need to remind myself to drink water. <laughs> I do need to remind myself to take my vitamins. I do need to remind myself to brush my teeth. Unfortunately, that sounds disgusting, but it is what it is. Everybody has their flaws, like, out of here. Some of y'all don't be washing y'all butts properly. Please don't come for me. <laughs> um, yeah, and that's pretty much how I started it. That's how I started it. So, currently, my morning routine is... At 7.30 in the morning. some Well, really somewhere between 7.30 and 8.30. It depends on the dog. Whenever my dog wakes up in the morning, she has to go out to the bathroom immediately. So, I'm up at 7 in the morning to take her to the bathroom. Um, I take her to the bathroom. We both come back in. She goes back to sleep. I go back to sleep. Around 9.30, 10 o'clock is when she eats her breakfast. But I don't eat my breakfast yet. <laughs> um... She eats our breakfast and gets out my face. What I do is then I go and I sit on the bed and just be for a second. I allow the blood to flow through my body because I heard that you're supposed to do that anyway. And then directly after that, I drink my water, I take my vitamins, and I do my daily tarot pool because 
a person who reads tarot pulls a daily card or pulls a daily pull like they like it just depends on them so with my daily tarot reading i pull a card to see my overall energy of the day i pull a card well no i pull three cards to see what i'll be feeling thinking and doing and then i see what my under the deck energy is if you don't know what i'm talking about disregard um and then i brush my teeth and after i brush my teeth i cook breakfast um yeah and by that time it's about 12 12 30 and we're no longer in my daily routine we're in our um afternoon routine um i have my whole day scheduled like my entire day scheduled from start to finish low-key just a little bit <laughs> um i pretty much know kind of sort of what i'm gonna be doing during those days and during and during the day and around what time um so why why is my schedule like this is that really a good morning routine well i chose to allow myself more time to sleep because the person that i want i strive to be they they're financially free they don't have to wake up whenever the only time that i would wake up before this is if i like had work but i'm changing careers <laughs> you'll see that very soon and since i'm changing careers it kind of really doesn't matter yeah it doesn't really matter what time i wake up because what i'll be doing is more free and more open and i can come and go as i please and do what i want when i want and how i want and it's just better for me and what i'm trying to do with my life <sighs> so that's why i decided that it's not that big of a deal if i wake up a little later um and i cook breakfast despite the fact that sometimes i really don't be eating <laughs> um and that's because you know i said i want to be an overly health conscious person and person who cares about their health obviously eats and at least tries to eat like even if they're not feeling eating you know they still make themselves some food just in case they want to eat honestly i was a lot quicker than i thought i didn't think that it was only going to take me like eight minutes to explain how i built my morning routine but it really it, it really isn't that hard first is figure out who you aspire to be second write down traits of those people that you aspire to be so if you aspire to be a good mother what are some traits of a good mother if you aspire to be if you if you aspire to be a good dancer if you if you're a dancer and you want to be a better dancer what are the traits of dancers that are better than you you know what do they do with their mornings what do they do you know or what would they do because sometimes we don't know what they do but what do you think they would do would they wake up and stretch because you know stretching is a very fundamental part of keeping your muscles lean and ready to dance maybe so that might be what you add to your morning routine um or maybe you want to be a fashion designer so maybe that looks like waking up in the morning and i don't know sharpening your pencil so that when you're ready to sketch you can you can sketch perfectly or maybe that looks like you know when you have dream or, or maybe you get dreams and visions and you want to you want to um you want to tune your psychic abilities and then that looks like waking up and writing down your dreams and that looks like um, that looks like waking up and writing down your dreams and you know talking to your ancestors or god or whichever you know deities you pray to that that looks like you know maybe um cleansing your crystal <laughs> that might look like you know grabbing um some crystals um as soon as you wake up to that match the energy of what you want to do in the day that they're really rude you're, you're being rude you're extremely rude jesus like excuse me and that could look like so many things um it isn't it isn't it isn't just one thing you know so that's really it you just gotta know what you're looking for and how you're looking for it and then you got to figure out ways to implement it into your life. My lips is dry. I don't ever moisturize them because I don't love myself, apparently. <laughs> but, um, 
yeah so that's all for this video it's a really short one today um and i hope you enjoyed and i hope you get to building that morning routine and you know get to get to getting everything together the way you want it to be together period <laughs> catch y'all in the next one please don't forget to subscribe like or check out my other videos and like comment and share this video all of that make sure your mama know how to build a routine your sister cousin brother uncle know how to build a morning routine because now you know the grade a struts and now you know how these people be getting these routines like that they first think about who they aspire to they want to be who, who they aspire to be i can never talk right they first think about who they aspire to be then they think about what those people do and then they just repeat them and build a routine that fits their schedule don't don't be upset at yourself if your routine or if the routine you strive to have doesn't fit your schedule right now because routines are adaptable they're changeable first of all it takes 30 days to even form a habit so if your routine only works for you for two weeks it's not like you're gonna be stuck to it you know you're just gonna you're just gonna end up changing it and you're just gonna end up you know not caring anymore like oh okay well I don't want to do that no more. I'll do this. I think I just posted a jobless morning routine and my morning routine looks nothing like that morning routine anymore. I don't <laughs> like I can't make this up like life changes. Everything happens for a reason. And it is OK if you didn't stick to the routine you told yourself you was going to stick to. That means that's not the routine for you. All right, guys. So, yep. Catch you in the next one.